So and welcome to another tutorial here on Razer Mice. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the button configurations and rebinding the buttons to other keys using um, Synapsys 3 here. The same applies to Synapsys 2, although I don't have that form of software, but the options are still there. You just need to look around a little bit further. So the first thing we need to do is launch Synapsys. I launch mine from the bottom right here. And what you're usually presented with is the devices at the top. If not, click on Synapsys. If you're on your keyboard, for instance, I'm going to be showing you on the Razer Mamba Hyperflux. If you're not already familiar with my channel, I do gaming product reviews as well for Razer Corsair Logitech. So check out my Tech Tuesday series. I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested in that. So click on the device that you want to configure. What you're usually presented with is a view of the mouse. Sometimes you can look at the side of it if you've got like the Naga. Um, the Hyperflux here only shows me a top view though. And as you can see here, each key here has a tab which can be clicked on and each one of these can be configured. So what you'll do is you'll click on, like I've done here, this delete key or this front right thumb button. It opens up a new menu and on the left hand side you have the key functions that you'd like to use. You could use a macro for instance, if you wanted to use it for something like control Z, something like that for copy. You've got a mouse function, the sensitivity function. You could run a macro as I've said, you've got switching lighting, hyper shift, which on the newer versions of Razer gear gives you additional button configurations and launch programs. So you've got some other shortcuts here. If you want to assign a key specifically, click the keyboard one or keyboard function, rebind the key and then push the button you want to rebind it to. So we're going to rebind it to G, click save, and you'll see now it's rebound it to G. Just to prove that to you, I'm going to push the front mouse button here. You can see it's putting G on. If we put it back to delete, which is what I prefer it on, because I'm using it for some media editing on my desktop, put it on to delete, you can see now it's deleting it using the same button. And that is how you assign a button in Razer Synapsis. You can do this for each one, you can have it for space, you could reassign another button here. You can change the top DPI sensitivity buttons if you wish, you could have them for page up, page down for instance, so mouse function, that's keyboard function, so I could have a page up, I could have this one as page down. Therefore, I can flip backwards and forwards on pages or up and down on uh, websites without using a scroll wheel, which you probably use more, but you get the idea. Repeat scroll, you know, you've got all these options to change. You can all be fully recustomized in Razer Synapsis for the Razer Mice. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you want me to show you something else. Check out my other ones and I'll see you all again. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.